Hi guys and welcome to the Real Car Show. Today I'm driving a car that I've wanted to drive for like, well, forever to be honest. Or at least the model, not this particular car because it's brand new. Well, you've seen the title, you know what I'm talking about. This is the brand new Toyota Supra. I know the jokes, the, oh, this is a Z4, oh my God, this is a BMW, you say no. Okay, I got that. There is a lot of BMW in it, but we'll judge it as an independent car and see if it's any good or not. And then we'll talk about the BMW-ness and all this, you know, stuff. So I propose we start up the engine and go for a drive, spirited drive, or well, if traffic allows us, of course, and, and, and under 50 in town, you get the point. Let's try it. Ooh, yeah. Now I know some of you already have seen a thousand reviews of the new Toyota Supra. I understand that, but you know, you haven't seen mine, so you should watch it till the end. And if not, I'm gonna start this review differently. I'm first gonna take it for a quick spin around the block. It still pops. You know, I'm gonna take it for a spirited drive right now to start it with. No talky talky, just, you know, drivey drivey, sound, uh, exhaust, uh, gears, all that. And then uh, we will do the review. So enjoy. For obvious reasons, I'm not gonna show you what's happening in front of me, but I guess you'll be able to imagine pretty easy. Let's put it in manual and let's go. It's pretty damn quick. I'll give you that. It pulls. Okay, that's, that's good. And the brakes, the brakes are, you know, they're not bad, but they could be a bit more crabby and I, I don't think the brakes are, they're enough in town. And if you want to just, you know, have some quick accelerations from time, from time to time, sorry, but I don't think it's a good setup for a track, for example, it definitely needs some stuff added. Oh, the exhaust sounds so good. I Honestly, I was a bit concerned because I felt, well, this is the BMW engine, this is the BMW everything, etc. And I thought it might sound not so good because the M140i, that was my main complaint, it didn't sound that great. This one, there's not an issue. We're just gonna pull the window down and listen to that. Son, this is yeah fuck I just got my video demonetized but that's okay because this is a Supra and I don't care so you heard the sound of the Supra you'll get obviously more outside shots and some little surprises along the way but I say now we move on towards the highway take it for a nice cruise and talk about well design interior space, quality, options, specs, and all those stuff. Uh, and then, well, I'll give you my <clears throat> conclusion on the Supra. And there's people, so I'm gonna go slow now. So gently getting onto the highway. Let's start with design. I think this car is gorgeous, really. I like the proportions, I like the lines, I like the looks. You can't help it, I'm, you know, I like Toyota's and Lexus design in general a bit more sharp, a bit more, you know, uh, maybe more angular, more cut. I like that. That's something I enjoy. You can take a look at it and give me on a Oh, there's a Corvette there. There's a Corvette. Sorry, Supra. Uh, I think it's a gorgeous car. I like the wheels. They're pretty big at the back, 275s, which are great. They, but it still moves, you know, when you accelerate hard. But looks wise, it's the best. I like the bicolor, you know, uh, chrome and black. It's really good. The hood. Ah. But the front, I heard some people don't really like it. To me, it really reminds me of the old Supra. So, it's a positive. The back, really, really nice. Like, it looks so aerodynamic and the 
dual exhaust. It's a true dual exhaust. There's a proper exhaust in there you can put your fist in. That's good, you know. Manufacturers sadly don't do that a lot nowadays, you know, with all the fake exhaust, fake noise, fake all that. This is pretty raw. I like it. already getting on it onto the experience because this car is all about the experience I'll try to focus and talk to you about the design on the inside yes it's 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 BMW but it's good you know it's good because BMW does a tremendous job with their interior especially the new ones quality is good uh, technology is good designs on point it's pretty simple no nothing too wild or high techy but it looks amazing and I like it and I've mentioned tech features, well, from BMW again, the BMW iDrive, which you can find in this Toyota, it's not a BMW iDrive, it's, I don't know, some Toyota iDrive or something, doesn't matter, it works great, it's very fluid, it's very easy to use, you get touchscreen as well, because it works as a touchscreen, you get the iDrive controller from a BMW, oh my god, I, I need to stop saying BMW, right? But I, I just, my mind goes there and I can understand that. Still, I drive very good, virtual cockpit, not, not really, you cannot, you know, configure it as you might like to do, but you get all the infos you want right there in front of you. This car comes as standard with all the adaptive cruise control, lane assist, blind spot monitoring and all those stuff, it's standard, it's still a Toyota. So that's good. You get heated seats, you get a wireless phone charger, and that's well pretty much it. I don't know, no, I missed something, sorry. You also get the heads up display, which is one of my all time favorite must have options on any car. So that's it about options. It's more than enough, it's very good. You can daily the car, so options wise, you know, you get all the stuff, all Apple CarPlay, this stuff. You know, I don't use all of them in general, but the ones I use and I generally need are here, so to me it's a big thumbs up. Now, space-wise, well, it's a two-seater, but it's a comfortable and spacious two-seater. I personally am 190 centimeters tall, which is, I don't know, 6'3", I guess, 6'4", six, six, some, somewhere there for those who use feet. I use feet to walk, not to measure height. Anyways, and I feel really, really comfortable in this car. The seats are uber, uber supportive and they're really adjustable. They're really, really good. And the passenger has a lot of space as well. Well, obviously you have nothing here except, well, the trunk and like a bar which stabilizes. So you get direct access to the trunk. And since I mentioned the trunk, what about the trunk? I keep on saying trunk a lot. The trunk is spacious. I was expecting it to be smaller, but since it's an open thingy situation there, I, I like it. It's big enough. You can take this car on a longer journey, two people, obviously two people, it's a two-seater. Uh, no issue whatsoever. So yes, pretty practical and comfortable. And it's not no uh, Okay, again, I'm, I'm getting on to the experience here. Before getting there and telling you how awesome this car is, because it's awesome, I'll talk a bit about specs. The new Toyota Supra has a 3-liter inline 6 petrol engine, it has a turbo, and it's a blast. It makes 340 horsepower and an insane amount of newton meters slash torque slash whatever. It's close to 600 newton meters and just before continuing this review, I've seen some reviews on the internet, some people, some YouTubers putting these uh, cars on a dyno, such, such as, you know, Car Throttle, they're big, you must know them. And this car put down 375 horses, stock. So about 35 more than announced by Toyota. I hear that's common with these engines from BMW. They generally put out more than announced and that's good. I may have tried to outrun a 
Audi RS3 stock new model the sedan one and I can tell you we were like neck neck so to me there was barely any difference and that RS3 is supposed to make around 400 horses to me it makes sense that this car has closer to 400 horsepower than actually closer to uh, what 340 350 and come on it's way quicker it feels way quicker the gearbox is amazing it's a zf eight speed auto gearbox it drives so smoothly when you're in town it's so chill it's amazing and then when you want to get it down and have some fun it will do that very well i love this is to me the best gearbox on the market you can have don't need any dual clutch don't need all of that it's just rubbish this is the best one that's it. Zero to 100 will take somewhere around four seconds. And VMAX, which we personally tested on the Autobahn because Belgium is really close to Germany, so that's a plus, and we really wanted to do that, is 263 kilometers an hour. I guess there's a limiter. I guess you could take it off and do something with the car soft and get some horses. And I think this car is good for two. 75 maybe 280 without the limiter on it will still stick to the road it's a very nice car to drive fast very nice car lastly i don't know who's really into that because this is a supra and if you're really interested in fuel economy there's something wrong with you but still fuel economy average i got somewhere around i think it's 9.6 or 9.7 i need to check it yeah it's 9.7 and i've been driving the heck out of this car uh, i've also done some highway i'm not gonna say I, i've only done the, you know spirited drives or anything like that but you know it to me it's, it's amazing it doesn't drink all that much fuel and it's really powerful and it's special so yes supra you're allowed to even get a worse worse economy figure if you want because you deserve it and that's it with specs now what's my take on this car what does it feel like to be behind the wheel of this car for a few days and all i can tell you it, it's amazing this car is amazing it drives incredibly well it's very versatile you can drive it in town on the highway you can just have fun on the back road and and thrash the hell out of the tires and it just it goes all together so fun i know i know bmw everywhere but is it a bad thing because you get a special car design wise something really different with some tweaks from toyota and on a solid basis a basis that is proven by now this engine from bmw is one of the best engines of all time it's reliable it's powerful af and you can modify it pretty much all the way to what there's already a supra at 500 horses 500 okay that's a lot of power and still i'm sure you can go way more than that so solid engine solid gearbox solid powertrain a lot of bmw in it but only the good parts from bmw i've seen nothing that I didn't like with this car. I like everything, literally everything. So yes, I'm sorry for those who were expecting me to hate on the new Supra. I can't hate the new Supra. Yes, is it like the old Supra? Like, is it the 2JZ Fast and Furious? I know, but honestly, the old Supra wasn't all that great stock either. I mean, it was a good GT. It was quick for the time. But it wasn't the fastest thing out there stock. It wasn't the quickest, the best handling or anything. It's just the movie made it into a big superstar. And that's it. That's why people, when they think of a Supra, they think of the AMK4, the all amazing Supra. That the one that the late Paul Walker drove in the movie. And I can understand that. I can relate to that. Because to me, this is still the ultimate Supra, the AMK4. The, the AMK5 is a good sports car. It's a great sports car. But is it a Supra? Yes, it's a Supra. It's a new Supra. You have to, you know, accept it. Because this car, with the right mods, I'm sure will do crazy numbers. It has a better chassis. It's better handling. So, I don't see any drawbacks. The price is not that high. You're in the 60,000 euros. Show me something that's as fun as this car to drive in the price range. Because I've been struggling and we've been struggling like what a C43 not really you don't get all the options 
a Porsche, it's more expensive. The Alpina, again, Alpine, sorry, not Alpina, more expensive. So it's really hard. What, you could get an M140i or M135i now, with, but it's a next drive, it, they change the car, you can't get it you know, brand new anymore. And even if you had to take the old one, it's still, this is better. Just, it's just better. An M2 would be something I would also consider. I think this car is as good and as fun as an M2, but it gets the wild factor from the design, which the M2 is a good looking car. It's a, it's a very, you know, it's a BMW M, it's good, but it's not as wild as this car. And I drove it a lot, you know, in a few days, I really put some uh, kilometers on the car. And people, I would stop, you know, at gas stations or just randomly I would stop because I needed to stop and there would be people stopping by to take a picture, ask me about the car and, you know, we might know that this is mostly BMW parts put together in the new Supra, you know, underneath it's a BMW, but most people don't and they see the new Supra and they really enjoy it, they like it and they and they treat it as a new car, which car enthusiasts have, you know, a hard time doing. They take the Supra as, oh, this is a, this is a BMW, man, uh, come on, uh, this is just a BMW. Come on, it's, it's not just a BMW. To me, it's not a finite product, it's a great basis to build one of the quickest and fastest cars around in 2019 or 2020 if I ever managed to edit this video. So that's all I had to say. I hope you guys enjoyed this review because uh, I sure enjoyed driving this car so, 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 so much. And if you did, make sure to leave a big thumbs up and comment. Yes, I am I want you to tell me, do you really consider that this car is not worthy of the super name or should we give it a chance and see what's, what's gonna happen? You know, there's a new movie coming out. This is gonna be in the movie, we all know that. And for those who don't, well, now you do. And I think, I think this Supra has a bright future ahead of itself. Now I'll start putting some money on the side to get one. Now I'm gonna get some sleep because I'm really, 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 really tired. So before I go, make sure to subscribe, smash the subscribe button. It's really, really, really important that allows us to get cars like this to review. And uh, you know, it's always more fun to review a Supra than a Prius, but subscribe, subscribe, come on. I'm waiting, I, I, I'm, I have nowhere to go. Have you? Good. And if you haven't, you should, man. You should, it's free, it takes a second. I'm begging for subscribers, how original. Now I'm a true YouTuber. <laughs> Bye.